friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy end of December. Happy final weigh-in for 2022. I can't believe the year's over. It is almost New Year's. It's almost 2023. I'm ready. I am ready. My vision board is done. I have my goals set for the new year and I can't wait to make 2023 one of the best years so far. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you a recap of my week, how I did over the holidays, my weigh-in. We're going to talk about the WW workshop topic, and I'm going to share with you my total weight loss overall, as well as what I lost or gained over the holidays. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I do a weigh-in every Friday, and I upload five videos per week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Cannot recommend this enough. This is how I have lost the majority of my weight. Get yours done before the new year so you can make 2023 your year. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group, come join us there. We'd love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's jump into my week, my weigh-in, and the WW workshop topic. Happy Friday. I hope you had an amazing week. I hope you had a very, very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. It's so, so much is happening right now. It's been such a whirlwind the last few weeks with the holidays. I'm sad that Christmas is over, but I'm ready for 2023. Like I'm counting down the days for the new year. We had a really good Christmas. Very low key, very chill. My in-laws came over on Christmas Eve. We had pizza. We watched Christmas Vacation. And then we went over there on Christmas Day. It was 72 degrees. So we actually went and played shuffleboard outside. It was so much fun. And then my mother-in-law made this delicious delicious vegetable Italian sausage soup that was amazing. We had appetizers and just spent time together as a family. I watched lots of Christmas movies, spent Christmas day in my pajamas till about noon. It was a really, really good holiday, very relaxed, which I appreciated. I was able to really focus on just enjoying the holidays rather than having it be such a whirlwind and such a hustle bustle. So it was a great holiday. I want to hear in the comments how your Christmas went and what are your plans for New Year's? Let me know that down in the comments. If you know me, you know I'll be in bed long before midnight. I am an early to bed, early riser. So for me, New Year's isn't that exciting. I usually can make it to the New York New Year's and then I'm in bed. So that's kind of my plan. We're not going to a party or doing anything too exciting. I might, I might make some appetizers or kind of a fun dinner for Troy and I to enjoy. We'll probably watch the ball drop in New York, but other than that, your girl's heading to bed long before midnight. As soon as the holidays were over, I was right back on track. In fact, leading up to the holidays, I was on track. I did all of my workouts, went to boot camp the day after Christmas, got in my water, made the healthiest choices that I could, even on the holidays, really focused on getting in my protein, but still enjoying sweet treats. Don't get me wrong, I had lots of cookies over the holidays, but I still was mindful of how much I was eating and back on track. Monday morning, I was at boot camp at 5 a.m. and had a really good full day of eating on Monday, which you actually saw in Wednesdays what I eat in a day. I did film that video on Monday. So I was right back to my normal food, watching my calories, getting in my protein, and drinking my water. Nobody got fat over Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. It's what we do leading up to that and after that. And for me, one of the things I really focus on is just getting back to normal, getting back on my regular routine so that if I did gain any water weight or weight over the holidays, it quickly comes off just getting back to my normal routine. But before I jump into my weigh-in, let's talk about this week's WW workshop topic. I actually really like this. And this is how to use gratitude to reach your goals. Now we think about our goals and gratitude is not what comes to mind, right? It's about determination and motivation and consistency, but you can actually use something simple and special like gratitude to help reach your goals. It's really normal to dwell on the bumpy parts of our journey instead of focusing on what we're grateful for, bumpy parts and all. There's there's some things that WW recommends to really focus on gratitude in order to reach your goals. Number one is think. Think about three good things that happened to you today. 
Number two is write down each of those three things and add details, where, when, why, or how they happen, who you were with, and even what you were wearing or doing. Number three is to reflect. Reflect on how you felt as you experienced each of these things and how you feel now looking back. Life can be so busy that we don't focus on the things we're truly thankful for. Like I said, we focus on all the bumps that we have in our weight loss journey, not all the great things that have happened, all the NSVs, all the improvements in our health and our physical appearance. We don't focus on those. We focus on the negative. It's just human nature. But pausing and taking five minutes each week and really connecting and focusing on the good can not only make us feel better mentally, but can help us stay on track and reach our goals. Being happy actually improves your overall ability to reach your goals, to be successful, whether it's in your family, your career, or your weight loss journey. Being happy overall is really essential for a happy life. Don't stress or focus on the negative or what doesn't come easy. Focus on what comes easy and what you're thankful for, what gratitude you have for the life that you are given. This can really help energize you and move you into the new year in a positive headspace. Make it one of your goals for 2023 to focus on being grateful, grateful for the things that you have and not focusing on all the negative. Like I said, it's human nature. If you focus on the negative, don't feel bad about it. We all do. That's just part of who we are. Negative draws our attention way more than positive. I know for me, I've really been mindful of the things I'm thankful for. As you see in my Facebook group, on my Instagram, I'm always posting things that I'm grateful for, non-scale victories, things that I've noticed with my mental health and my physical health and not focusing on my loose skin or the fact that my weight doesn't really change, that I may still have a lot of fat to lose. I don't focus on that. I focus on the things that make me happy because when I'm happy, I'm better at reaching my goals overall. So make 2023 the year of being happy and grateful. It'll definitely help you reach your goals. So like I said, I really like this topic. I feel like it's something that's overlooked a lot and I'm glad that WW decided to focus on it as we finish out 2022. Speaking of finishing out 2022, let's talk about my weigh-in post Christmas weigh-in now granted I had almost a full week to recover after Christmas I mean Christmas Day was on Sunday I weigh in today Friday and I also had the mission in the month of December to maintain not gain because like I shared in my 2023 goals video and vision board I'll link that video down below if you missed it I have some major major things happening in the new year so I wanted to give myself a little bit of grace and allow myself to just kind of be in the month of December and focus on maintaining my weight not gaining but when I stepped on the scale post Christmas I actually lost a little bit of weight I am down point four. So overall in the month of December, I actually lost weight. I'll put you up here on the screen, my total weight loss for the month of December and then drum roll, please. Dun, dun, dun. Let's talk about my total weight loss overall. I have lost this in my weight loss journey, which puts me very, 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 very close to my goal weight. I will be putting out an entire video once I hit my goal weight, revealing to you my starting weight, my current weight. We're gonna talk about how I got to my goal weight, tips and tricks. I'm gonna share with you the good, the bad, the ugly. There may be some tears in that video. I'm gonna share my entire journey with you. And by losing 0.4 this week, it puts me just a little bit closer to my weight loss goal. One thing I mentioned in my 2023 goals video is that I'm hiring back my fitness coach. I'm actually in communication with her and we are going hardcore January 1st. I'm not waiting until January 2nd. My gym's open on New Year's and I will be there. We are going hardcore. I have some really healthy goals planned for 2023. Not only maintaining my weight, but building lean muscle and cleaning up my diet. Stay tuned for lots and lots of whole real food recipes and ideas. My diet is completely changing in the new year. I will be talking more about this in a future video as well, but I couldn't be happier with how I ended out December, how I ended out 2022, and how much weight I lost in the year. It's amazing. I feel amazing. I'm so proud of myself. It has not been easy. There's been some bumps in the road, but I'm really grateful for all the good things that have happened this year. This year really was my year to reach my goals and I did it. I'm really proud of myself that I set out to get where I am at the end of the year and I was consistent and I stuck with it. That's the key to success. Be grateful, focus on the good things and stick 
with it, I promise you'll reach your goals too. So now I wanna hear from you guys. Please let me know how your holidays were. What are your plans for New Year's? What was your way in like for the end of 2022 and after the holidays? Let me know everything down in the comments. I also wanna say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for all of your support this year. Actually, all the years that I've been here on YouTube. Thank you so much for your support, your kindness, your kind words, your love. You guys truly are the best part of my day and I wouldn't be where I am without you. You truly make such a huge impact in my life and thank you so much again for all of your support and I can't wait to spend 2023 with you help you reach your goals have you motivate me to reach my goals thank you again for everything from the bottom of my heart I truly love each and every one of you and of course if you enjoyed today's video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up it really helps out my channel make sure you're subscribed your bells on I have lots and lots of good stuff coming to you in the new year and of course check out the description box for nutrition coaching my goals video, all of my favorite healthy things, and come join our Facebook group. I'd love to have you join us there as well. Thank you so much for watching. Again, happy Friday, happy new year, and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.